Hi guys, it's me Sam here today and today I wanted to talk to you guys about 15 products that I cannot stop using. I can never narrow it down to 10. I'm sorry guys, I just can't. So if you are interested, continue watching. If you are new to my channel, hi! My name is Sam, I'm a makeup enthusiast. Makeup is my therapy and if you feel the same way, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can come back and see more videos with me. So let's get into it. I do want to say like these are not absolute favorites but they're like creeping up there you know what I'm saying like when you start using things and then you're like oh I'm still using that every day I'm using it I've been using it every day for two weeks what you know they're like maybe this is a favorite but I'm not quite yet committed ready to commit you know what I'm saying so let's get into it I have been surprisingly into lipstick Years and years and years of my life, even in high school, I was never really into lipstick. Except for like middle school when it was like you wear the dark liner on your lips and you wore that frosted lipstick. That was a thing. Um, but since then, I've worn lipstick, you know, on occasion, for an occasion. But I typically don't wear lipstick. But wearing lipstick all the time. Lately, my favorite red lipsticks, I only have them in red shades. I, I got to pick up other shades because I love this formula, is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Ultra Matte Lipstick. Love these. This was a recommendation from Jessica Braun. This one looks highly jacked up because my six-year-old got to it and then she lost the cap. <laughs> And she lost the cap and then tried to store it like this and it got all messed up and then she found the cap and she you know it was the whole thing but I have two shades this one is all a buzz which is a little bit more like orangey red and then the other one is sweetened up and it's more of a blue tone red and the formula on this is like so silky smooth and soft and yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with these i gotta get them in like neutral shades because i'm i'm loving these, these lipsticks and I, I just can't keep putting them down the other lipsticks that i've been leaning towards because i got them all in nude shades are the the color sensational ultimate lipstick these are like their matte stick stick formula i think this is the one i'm wearing right now no it's not no, it's not. This is more honey. But this applicator fits like perfectly on my lips and they're just very comfortable matte lipstick. I've been wearing the liquid ones as well, but I just find like one in a stick formula is just more convenient. This one is more caramel. And then the last one is the one that I'm wearing, which is more sepia. And this is like, I find to be like my perfect nude shade. And I'm just loving these. They're very creamy. They're long wearing. And I, I don't know what it is, but I can't stop wearing this these lipsticks. The, when I am looking for something like more hydrating, um, I'm reaching for these Merit lipsticks. I mean, the packaging just makes it stand out in the drawer, but not only that, the colors in the formula are like so, so good. Um, the one that I wear the most is this one, L Avenue, because it just like, it's just so pretty on my skin tone and just like accentuates my natural lip color and you can really build it up. Um, and then this other one that I got is Tiger which is a little bit more terracotta. Also really, really pretty. So there's Tiger and then that one's L Avenue. Loving these when I want like a hydrated lip, but still want some color. I don't, again, it's really kind of surprising to me that lipsticks has been one of the things that is like a go-to for me, but we're just gonna roll with it. Another product that pretty much I think 
I'm this close to saying it's replaced my Milani eyeshadow primer is the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. This is in the shade medium, but it's pretty much translucent on me. And I feel like all my shadows look more pigmented and blend more easily with this primer and they last all day, which is like a big thing for me. Like sometimes I can wear no makeup all day and I will look in the mirror and I can see the oil on my lid. Like just naturally my lids are very, very oily and this helps my shadow last all day long. So I've been reaching for that quite a lot. So I recently ran out of my no problems and I had to order a new one and I tossed out the other one because it was expired. I hadn't finished it, but it was expired. So I threw that out and I was trying to use the e.l.f. putty primer and I was like, this is okay. I was still getting like oil built up, um, you know, in this area where I do pore filling primer and I was like what can I use like going in my drawer and I was like oh my goodness totally forgot about this product this is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base and it's kind of like a putty primer and get some I mean it's essentially that it blends in and it creates a nice barrier between your skin and it fills in those pores. I'm wearing it right now, which, you know, I think my pores look pretty good. And yeah, I'm loving this. It's better than the e.l.f. Putty Primer. It's more expensive, obviously. But if you really struggle with enlarged pores and the e.l.f. Putty Primer is just not cutting it with your oils, I would give this a shot because I did also use the matte version of the putty primer and I did not like that whatsoever so yeah I'm loving this and yeah I'm not gonna start using this one just yet because I'm enjoying using this so the next product I wanted to talk about is this Merit brow pomade it's the 1980 volumizing brow pomade I got it in dark brown I really like this product um, I love this applicator and that it's kind of like a dryer formula so it doesn't get really messy but it does really good job with your brows making them fluffy it's super easy to use love this stuff and I've been reaching for it over and over again I keep telling myself I gotta finish up that super goop you know that what is it, the NYX like glue for your brows because I just want to be done with that but I keep reaching for this so I don't know if I'll ever finish that product but anyway that's neither here nor there the next thing I wanted to talk about is these elf putty things the putty bronzer and the putty blush so I have the bronzer in the shade sun kissed you guys ring the shame bell because I purchased these last summer this is the shade Bali. I purchased a bunch of the blushes and I gave most of them to my daughter and I kept Bali and then I kept the bronzer and I bought these last summer and they've been sitting in the drawer and I kept telling myself I think I used them once and I was like eh it's all right I picked up this little brush that I guess it's it's for the primer it's called the putty primer applicator but it fits perfectly in these little jars and I started using them and I love it. I'm so late to the game, but I'm really, really loving these putty things. And yeah, this brush is perfect for applying it. I have not used it for the primer and nor do I care to. I don't want to press primer into my skin. I want it to be a barrier in between my skin and the makeup. So I'm not down for like pushing it in there, but this is really good all together like I'm super pumped about getting into that I do feel super late to the game but it is what it is the next thing is the LYS triple fix serum foundation I have been so tempted by all the new foundations that have been coming out and I was super late to trying this I think I started trying it in like January or something like that but I love it. I have the shade TG5, which is absolutely perfect for my skin. I'm not wearing it today because I was filming another video and I totally forgot. But honest to God, it's like the perfect shade for me. And I love that it has like this gel 
texture it just glides on the skin and it feels very hydrating it has a really beautiful finish so i cannot stop using that and i'm not mad at it because it's helping me resist buying all these other foundations i already have way too many and i do not need to be adding any more to um my collection let's talk about powder i feel like we all know Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder is like big hit that the Pat McGrath is really amazing but we don't talk about drugstore powders that much I picked up again let's ring the shame bell some makeup from she glam months and months and months ago when I tried the chroma collection I picked up this powder. It is the Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. And it's a really cute package here. It's like the peach thing. And the top has a pressed powder. And then you can turn this little mechanism and you have your um, loose powder on the bottom. And they have like a, four different shade options or something like that. So it's, and it's really affordable. I have been obsessed with this under eye powder. It is, I have the shade Toasted Almond. The bottom one is a little pink. I have used it. It's okay, but it's a little peachy for me. But this top powder, I use it all of the time. I'm actually wearing it under my eyes right now. And it's just a really pretty powder. It doesn't create any accentuated lines or make me look cakey and it helps with the oils all day long and it's super affordable so yeah I'm really liking this and it's convenient that it has both I want to see if like if I could just put this top on another loose powder that I do love and then you have them both sitting there right on your vanity like for use like this without having like 17 different products that's an idea I don't know <laughs> but I love that whole like package situation and the convenience of having both right there on my vanity without taking a ton of space the other powder that I've been pulling out of my drawer have been my Too Faced Turn Up The Light palettes. I have both medium and tan because I use the tan under my eyes like in the summer and the medium under my eyes in the winter. But lately what I've been doing is kind of using the medium one under my eye and then I use the tan one all over my face. And it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. It's such a lightweight formula and it has a little bit of radiance to it without having glitter like these are really really good and they have the highlights in there with them so i don't know i'll show you guys finger swatches so this is the tan one and it's exactly so this is the dazzle this is the soft focus powder that's the one i put all over my face and then this is the glow powder which is like a regular highlighter beautiful beautiful formula beautiful formula i'll swatch the medium ones for you as well and that is the medium yeah i love this powder that's inside these palettes and I feel like nobody ever talks about it because maybe it's just like I don't know like you're so used to, like we're also used to having everything so separate and so like face palettes have never really caught on but I really think these are really really good the next thing I wanted to talk about was blushes because I've been really into a glowy shimmery blush I feel like last year I really was using matte blushes and cream blushes a lot i was obsessed with my pat mcgrath like you could not rip them from my grass but lately i've been kind of trying to use some other products and wow like rediscovering stuff in my vanity and i've been loving these blushes from nabla the skin glazing blushes they're so absolutely beautiful this is independence 
and they just have like the most beautiful sheen. Let me swatch for you. So this is Independence. We got adults only and this one's a highlighter and privileged but absolutely beautiful glowy yummy products and I wore it recently in a video the adults only for my Darth Vader palette and they're just so beautiful and yeah I can't seem to put down the glowy blushes speaking of that the M Cosmetics Venetian Rose I know this looks really cool tone but I promise you like this gets so warm in a very like unique way and it's just this gorgeous soft glow that you get on the face and there's something about this big formula that I'm like completely obsessed with and then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is blowing my mind I never use setting sprays really like very rarely did I ever use setting sprays and if I did it was more like the milk makeup one like I love that one because it just keeps everything in place or the wet and wild photo focus one I love that one as well it just keeps everything perfect especially when you're not using setting powder I feel like sometimes you need like that hairspray kind of setting spray for your face but I've been using this wet and wild twinkle star what is this glow face mist like crazy this gives you like such a beautiful sheen to the skin it's really really gorgeous and the sprayer on it is perfect like I just it has a really pretty smell yummy smell to it like I feel like wet and wild with these glow sprays they're like spot on like I would buy every single one of these I feel like wet and wild really hit it spot on with these like I am interested to see other ones that they have the sheen in here is like so subtle it's not glittery it's not like I don't know but it gives you a glow that is literally magical definitely a huge fan of this if you haven't tried this pick it up it's so inexpensive and it's worth giving a shot and right now we all want to look like glowy beautiful queens so yeah try it out these are the products that I haven't been able to put down let me know what other products you have not been able to put down in the comments below and thank you so much for hanging out until next time love you guys bye